Hello guys, I'm back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the next question. Okay, so this question belongs to GATE CSE 2006. The given question is consider a database with the three relational tables. Okay, so they give three tables in the question. Okay, so the primary key for drivers and cars. Okay, so this is the cars and this is the drivers relation are DID and CID respectively. Okay, for drivers, it is a DID. For cars, it is a CID, okay, respectively, and the records are stored in ascending order of their primary key. Yeah, that's true, right? So, 22, 29, 31, 32, 58, 64, 71, 74, 85, 95, 101, 102, 103, 104, okay, okay. So, no indexing is available in the database. So, till here, nothing they gave, guys. They just gave that this much information, that's it, right? Yes. Okay, so now they are saying which of the following, which of what is the output for the following SQL query. Okay. Okay, so if you observe this query, this is the outer query, right? Yes, and this is the inner query. And even in inside inner query, we are having two separate queries. In between, we are performing intersection. Oh my God. This question seems to be really interesting, right? Yes, and to be clear, I think this is a continuation question. There is a second part for this question also. So let us read that also, okay? So now in this, okay, so this is a different query or same query? So the same query, okay? So now what are they saying in this question? So let n be the number of comparisons performed when the above search is used to locate the tuple in the relation using primary key. Okay, so now they are asking how many searches or how many comparisons are done. Okay, so I think we should need to solve these two questions parallelly, right? Yes. Okay. So let us start here only. Let us solve in this paper only both of them. Okay. Yes. So let us start guys. Okay. So first of all, let us apply this particular thing. Okay. So if you observe these two statements, in both of those statements, we are performing a Cartesian product in between cars C cars C and reserves R, right? Yes. So we are performing Cartesian product in between these two, which are having CID equal to this CID. So we are performing Cartesian product. I think if I take an additional extra paper here, it will be really helpful for us, right? Or shall, shall I solve it directly here? So let me take an extra paper, guys, because at that time, you will get more clarity on this, right? So just to give me a second. I think I need to bring a paper. Yeah, it's available. So. I think half page will be enough, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. So let us start. Okay. Okay. So now I am trying to perform Cartesian product in between C and R where I am comparing this is CID should match. Okay. So please concentrate guys. You will exactly understand how we can write it directly. Okay. So when I am comparing these two, so here we are having 101. So wherever 101 is there, let us map them combinedly. Okay. So 101. So until here, this is other table and this is this table, right? Yes. So just to give me a second, I'll be cross-checking it. Basically, whenever these things are given, you should always cross-check these things. It is. Yeah. Age belongs to the other table. Okay. Yes. Okay. So let us start. Okay. So now in the new table, what will be the columns, guys? So let us write this columns first, followed by this columns. So we are going to have CID, C name, color, then DID, then a day. So we are going to directly remove this particular CID, right? Yes. Okay, so I think every one of these, this value is available, this value is available, 101 is available, 102 is available, 103 is available, 104 is available, 102 is available, 3 is available, 4 is available, 1 is available, 2 is available, 3 is available, okay, every particular row is available, right? Yes, I think uh, I, what we need from here, guys, so we are just comparing the color. So I think if I directly write color, it will be enough, right? So even to be clear, there is no need of writing this also, but I want to give clarity guys. So that is the main reason why I'm writing it. So 101, 102, 103, 104, 102, 103, 104, 101, 102, 103. So 101 is nothing but a blue, 102 is a red, 103 is a green, 104 is a red, 102 is a red. Okay. So 103 is a green. 104 is a red, 101 is a blue, 102 is a red, 104, sorry, 103 is a green, okay. So now both of these queries are just working on this colors only, right? Yes. So now what we are doing is, okay, so we are selecting DID. So I think we need to write this DID also, right? Yes. So let me write that DID also. So 20, okay, so it's 22 for most of them, 22, 22, 22, 22. So till here it is a 22. Okay, followed by 
thirty one, thirty one, thirty one. So the next three it is thirty one. After that it is sixty four, sixty four, seventy four. So it's in this way, right? Yes. Okay. So now let us start the comparison. So now what we are doing is, so this mapping is done right indirectly. Yes. So we have combined them. So now I we need to check for which which the color is red and green. So it is so for red I'll be marking this side. So it is a red here. 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 Similarly, we need to mark for green. So it is a green here. It is a green here. It is a green here. So now the end result above part we will be getting DIDs, right? So in this side I am going to get one not two, sorry DIDs, right? So twenty two, again twenty two, thirty one, again thirty one, sixty four. So this is what I will get on the above query. But if you recall here we are performing intersection. So basically I think we can eliminate these duplicate values, right? So twenty two I can remove once, thirty three I can remove once. So my result is a twenty two thirty one and sixty four. Okay. Moving on to the below part which talks about the green. So when it comes to green, we are having a seventy four, thirty one and twenty two. So if I perform intersection between these two, so these two will match. So the final result after completing this whole thing, okay, I am going to get a twenty two and thirty one, right? Yes. Okay. So I got twenty two and thirty one. Okay. So now what we are doing, guys? Okay. So we are just printing the driver name, sir. So for this thing, we did all these things, sir. Okay. So twenty two. What is the driver name, guys? So this is the particular name. So I don't want to pronounce them in the wrong way. Sorry for that. Okay. And this is the driver name for thirty one, right? Yes. So most probably these two should be the correct answer, right? So I think option A. Okay. So option A is the correct answer. Oh my God! This is one of the most easiest question, right? So it might have taken some time because I wrote everything, but it's an easy question, right? It's not that much complicated question, okay? So now the second part of this question is, okay? So now the second part of this question is, we need to find let the number of comparisons performed when the above search query is used to locate the tuples in a relation using a primary key. So now they are saying how many searches. Did it take in total? Is the question right? Okay, so this question might be a bit interesting and a bit confusing, right? Yes, because in the options they clearly give ranges, right? Thirty-six to forty, forty-four to forty-eight, sixty to sixty-four, one hundred to one hundred four. Okay, okay. So let us check, guys. So how many times did we compare and how many times did we do this checking, guys? Okay. So let us think of it now. Okay. Okay. So. When it comes to comparisons, so first of all, what comparisons we did, guys? So here we started comparison with the R I D R dot C I D equal to C dot C I D. So basically, how many comparisons did we do here? So we started checking this C I D should be equal to this C I D. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So eight, a total of ten items are available in it, right? Okay. So at that time, for these ten values, we are going to compare it, okay? And to be clear, if we try to execute this color statement first, so if we talk about red color, we are going to execute it twice, and when we are talking about green color, we are going to execute once. So basically, this query, so the comparisons will be two into ten, right? So a total of twenty queries will be enough for this particular thing, like comparison things. And for this red also, we need how many guys? So four. So in total, this inner query will take twenty-four, and when it comes to this query, so to find green, I need four queries, and once I found that green, for comparing this with this, I need ten queries, right? Yes. So a total of ten twenty-four plus ten queries will be enough to map all these cars to that, right? Okay. So once that particular thing is done, so now we are done. We are up to how many guys? So we are up to twenty-eight queries, right? Sorry, thirty-eight queries, right? Okay. So after this comparison, sir. Okay. So again, I need to compare this DID. So after this whole comparison, so what we did, guys? Then we did intersection also. So when it comes to intersection, here we got how many entries, guys? So we got three entries, and here we got two entries. So here also we compared whether they both are same or not. So one comparison, two comparison, three comparison, four comparisons. So four comparisons are spent there. So now we are up to 42 comparisons, and once this whole thing is done, we got at the end result as a 22 and 31. So additional two comparisons have been done to get these two values. So the final result should be 44, right? Yes, or it should be near 44 because in the question they give ranges, right? 
Yes. So one of its option is 44 to 48. So option B could be the most potential answer, right? Yes. Okay. So now I hope everyone got a clear idea, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. So I hope everyone got a clear idea on this. So in the next lecture, so this is already done in the previous page. Okay. So I hope everyone got a clear idea on this. So in the next lecture, let us continue with the next question. Okay. Yes. So let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe for more awesome videos like this. Thank you.